Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. Today we are going to be having some fun this afternoon. Um, one of my friends recently got a new camera and they want to get into photography. So they asked if I would be willing to do photos with them using one of my cosplays. Which is perfect because I have been looking to get photos of a particular cosplay. Uh, I won't mention who it is right now but you can probably guess when I'm doing my makeup and then later when I show you guys behind the scenes uh, but stick to the end of the video to see the finished product and I will be seeing you guys in a minute all right now let's hop into the makeup session right now I am looking like a hot mess but don't worry trust the process we will turn this into a masterpiece um, but right now I think I'm gonna start off with the eyes. So I normally start with the eyes so that whenever I do my eyeshadow and there's fallout, it doesn't get into the foundation or anything. That way it's super easy to clean up and then you can also do like the cut lines and stuff. So we'll start with that. Um, so first you want the base of like your eyes right here. I just use like concealer and then I set it with a little bit of the setting powder. And that way it gives it a nice blendable base and then I just pop my color on. Uh, so let me go ahead and do that. I'm gonna put on my concealer and then I'm gonna set it. All right, now that that's kind of blended out, let me set it real quick with my powder poof. <laughs> Now that that is set and ready, I have my little character sheet here. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and find my eyeshadow brushes and the colors. And for colors, I have a couple of different options. Um, I might just end up using one, but let's see. So all I have is this palette from like Amazon. Um, I just typed in like multicolored eyeshadow palette and it popped up. Um, I have all these different shades. It's great for using for all kinds of different characters because there's a variety in here. Um, I will say later, not in my eyes, but I will be using this shade. Um, but these might be a little bit too bright for what I'm looking for. Um, this, I specifically got a, this palette um, for the character that I'm going to be just because it has more of like the muted non-neon looking colors um, and I think these are beautiful but like ColourPop eyeshadow in general I am just obsessed with. Uh, it's affordable and they are really good quality shades that they use. Um, so this one definitely a winner. I believe I got this from um, the Target beauty section. And then just as a backup, I do use this sometimes when I go and do the princess balls. It's the NYX Ultimate um, eyeshadow palette, but this one is an older version just because I'll show you which ones I used to use for Elsa. As you can tell, those shades are like gone, but like the new versions that they have in this palette, like they don't have this color anymore. Um, Oh yeah, unfortunately I gotta find some different colors for Miss Elsa, but it's all right. Um, but hang on one second, I'm gonna get my eyeshadow brushes and then we're gonna dip into the color. <laughs> I have all my brushes. Um, I will be using my two favorite fluffy brushes is what I like to call them. Just because I think it's easy to blend it out and whatnot. But I have decided I think I'm just going to be using this palette today. Um, so it is the ColourPop Peach Out palette that is um, at the beauty section at Target. But the shades I will be focusing on, I want to say I'll be using Gal Pal, uh, Peach Me, 
maybe a little bit of ready or not. Um, we'll see. Uh, and maybe some juice box too as like a little highlight under the eyebrow and whatnot. Um, but yeah, let's hop right in. Um, so first I'm gonna lay the base color and I'm gonna be using this brush. Um, it's a little bit of a fluffy one. I'm gonna go ahead and dip that in the Gal Pal one. Let's try that one first. <laughs> It's like, it's still orange. Not really the color I'm looking for, but it's it's better than the other options I had. Uh, let me go ahead and do the other side really quick. Just making sure that the pigment is there. That was good enough. And then, let me look at the character sheet. <laughs> oh, brother, this guy stinks! Okay. Gonna add a little bit more orange. This time on my lid, as well as my crease. Beautiful. Just do the other side. Perfect. Now, I'm contemplating. I normally use this brush for a different character and I'm trying to decide if I want the glitter shadow on like my matte shadow, but I just clean it later. So let's go ahead and take this brush and go in with this Peach Me. Okay. We're getting somewhere with, like I said, trust the process. <laughs> And sometimes I feel like if I want more pigment out of a shade, I will be, but I will be using my ring finger um, to put it on. So I'm just gonna rub in the shade and then like tap it on my eye. Okay, so it gives more. I don't know if you can see the like little shimmer in there right now. It's giving, it's cute. It's trust the process. I'm just gonna take the orange one again and like clean up the edges, like blend it out a little bit. And then we can start on the face. That way we can clean up this kind of fallout down here and just get ready to complete the look. Okay, now that I kind of wiped off the excess shadow down here, we are jumping into the face. Um, so first I'm gonna start off with one of my go-to primers, um, the Power Grip Primer from e.l.f. But this is the one with um, niacinamide in it. Um, I think it's more hydrating than the green one, um, but that's just for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple pumps on. I'm just rubbing it into my fingers and then I'm just gonna rub it all over my face. Um, actually not rub, I'm just gonna like bounce and tap in the areas that I see my foundation kind of coming off a little bit more, which is basically just this T-zone of my face. Then what with the excess, I'm just gonna rub it on the outer parts and then try not to get the forehead because when you put the wings on, they go like down to here. So like, it's just gonna get all up in your wig. You don't want that on there. <laughs> I'm just gonna let this dry for a second, let it get tacky and whatnot. Um, in the meantime though, I'm gonna be setting up my foundation, which my go-to foundation, I've been using this for like years, is the Infallible uh, 24 Hour Fresh Wear by L'Oreal. Um, I've been using this since like high school. <laughs> um, so probably about like 
eight years or nine years now. Um, she's gone strong, but I'm just gonna take a couple of pumps, put it on the bottom of my beauty blender here. I'm gonna spread it across the surface just so we get an even layer. And I might have to put some more on there because it looks like it's absorbing it. And then the excess on my finger here, I'm just gonna tap over some of my problem areas. Don't blend those out. And then I'm gonna take this and put it all over. After putting on all of my foundation, I'd build up a couple of layers. Um, I'm gonna go in with that concealer again and do it right underneath here and then maybe just dot a couple in some of the areas I have issues with. I'm gonna let it sit for a second um, and let it dry kind of get tacky right here because I find like that helps it blend out better and it has more coverage. Um, I'm gonna let it do that. Um, I'm also going to set my face or foundation with um, some setting spray. I kind of feel like it helps it um, in the long run and when you're wearing it out and about. Um, it's just something it might work, it might not. Hmm. Now that that is done, I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit and then, okay my eyebrows um they have to be a certain color um but i'm not gonna be doing that right now just because i might be going out to grab some snacks and stuff later um when they do come over so we have something to eat um but i will be you'll see me with the correct shade of eyebrows later when we do behind the scenes with the photos uh, but right now i'm just gonna be doing my normal brow um just a little bit lighter just so i can put that color over top of it Okay, so for my normal eyebrows, I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Blonde. Um, I have been using this since like 2016. Not this specific pot, but this product. And I don't think I can switch to anything else. Um, I have found that I do like when I want to go very natural. I like ColourPop's Feather Effect Brow Pan. This one. And you just draw on the tiny little hairs and create it that way. And it turns out really good. Um, I'm gonna be excited to use that more often. But let me go ahead and shape up these bad boys. Okay, I just need to make sure I match this one. It looks really dark on camera. Um, it's fine. So I'm a person, I literally just draw the shape that I want and I will overline my eyebrows because I ain't got nothing here so I will extend that and I will extend that right there. <laughs> close enough, close enough. Um, I might brush it out a little bit. we're getting somewhere now that we have eyebrows done i'm gonna go ahead and set my face with the setting powder again um, i'm gonna use this little poof underneath my eyes here and then i'm gonna use the little poof that came with it to powder the rest of my face and then i don't think i need bronzer or anything for this character but i will be switching up uh, my usual blush because i just feel like it fits the color palette um i'll see you in a second <laughs> You want to make sure you powder the heck out here and hit it with the setting spray a couple of times just so this doesn't rub off into your wig cap and 
it just gets all crusty and dusty um or you have the option to just not put makeup above your eyebrows but that just irks me the wrong way and i just gotta do my own face okay um so for blush i'm kind of really torn i did say i was gonna change it up but i don't know so first i have this like it's pink but it's more coral pink maybe that i thought about using i thought it would match this eye color here um but then i see a lot of people that just stick to the bright pink shade so i have no idea um since I'm not going for anything accurate, I might just do my own and I feel more comfortable using the like coral shade here. So I'm gonna try that out and see how that goes. <laughs> okay, now for highlight. The one I normally use, I think, is too... No, too shiny? Oh, I think it's too light of a color. So, I think I'm gonna use this one. I think this one's really cute. Look at that. Look at the shimmer. It kind of matches um, the blush and like the color tones I'm going for. Um, so yeah, and this one is from Revolution. It's a cute little aerial collab. How cute! Um, but I'm just gonna put that on my ring finger and then I'm gonna put it on like the high part of my cheekbone right there. Ooh, yeah, I like that. It's like a pinkish highlighter. You can't really see it. It's a subtle one. The other one that I have is like very vibrant. That's what I mean by like, like too much. This one's cute. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit on the nose. Not too much. <laughs> That's cute. It's like subtle, like I said. Pretty cute. I like how that turned out. Um, now all that I have to do is go back and finish some details on the eyes. And then, um, yeah, basically just the eyes. So like fixing up the eyeshadow, uh, my mascara, eyeliner, lashes, all that jazz. So see you back in a second. All right, so now for the eyes, I need to do my lower lash line right here just to bring the color down. Um, and I also might add some glitter underneath the eyebrow right there. Um, so yeah, let's see what I got. Um, I use this, I think it's an eyebrow pencil or brush, um, but it's angled and thin. So I just use it as one that goes under uh, my lash line right here. <clears throat> so I am gonna dip back into this one right here, Gal Pal. And like I said, I'm just gonna drag it on my lash line right there. I'm not putting it on my waterline. I'm just putting it right here. If that makes sense. <laughs> and then I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Okay, and then I'm gonna dip into the peach me and I'm only gonna put it on the inner corner part right here. Not like the very inner, but like still on the bottom lash line there. It gives it that kind of like ombre effect into it. I think it's super cute. It's almost like a sunset look. Cute! And then I think I'm good on my base color. I might. Oh, like I said, uh, go in with this juice box color. I want to put that here and I might do inner corners too. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and use the highlight one I use for like every day. Again, it's just a thin brush. So I'm going to dip into that shade. And then once I get a decent amount on there, I'm just going to go right on this brow bone here just to lift it up, give that pop of color highlight. And then do the same to my other eye. And then for the inner corners, I'm gonna take my pinky, dip it in there, 
just tap it on. Beautiful. Um, I don't think she needs shimmer. I really don't like the shimmer ones in here. Um, I do have some like actual gold glitter I might think about putting up here. Um, we'll see, we'll see. We'll explore that in a, in a minute. <laughs> All right, now let's complete this look. Um, now I'm gonna go in and curl my lashes. I do this two times on each eye. One of them is more towards the like outer tips of the lashes and then more towards the baseline of the lashes. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, now that I've done that, I'm gonna go in with this cream gel liner in white from ColourPop. I'm gonna put it on my waterline here. And I really like doing that because it makes your eyes more animated, um, more bright, more open looking. It just completes the look. All right, I got that on. And before I put on my eyeliner or my mascara, I like to go ahead and set my face just because sometimes um, it being wet, it like leaks into the inner corners of my eyes and I really don't like that. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a couple of sprays. Let that air dry for a second and then I will go and put on my eyeliner and mascara. Okay, so for eyeliner, I am using NYX Epic Ink Liner, um, their waterproof one, in just regular black. Um, it has a like a brush tip, which I like. It's not that like felt kind where it's kind of like stiffer, um, but it's a brush, so it kind of glides with it. And I'm just gonna line the, my top lid. Um, and I don't think I'm gonna put a wing on the end. If I do, it's gonna be a very tiny one. So let's go ahead and do that. So I don't like how it looks at the end there. So I think I might do a very pointed, very tiny little wing on the bottom just to clean it up. Right, I'm just gonna try to copy that on the other side. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, my eyeliner is not cooperating with me. It's okay. It's passable. It'll look better when I put my full lashes on. But right now, it looks like my pen's getting messed up. It looks like all the ink's coming out. So I might have to get a new one. All right, moving on to mascara. I like, uh, right now, I like using Voluminous Butterfly. Um, it's the waterproof one because it does get windy. My eyes start watering and then it starts leaking and I cannot have that. Um, but the reason I like this one is because of the spool design, I guess you could call it. Um, this, I feel like it separates it better and it doesn't make it as clumpy and the product doesn't clump on the brush as well. So it actually like brushes it out but still gives you that color. So I'm just gonna put this on and then we will move on to the fake lashes. Look at that side view. Look at that. <laughs> uh, you want to do the bottom and the top of your lashes, and then do not forget your bottom lashes. <laughs> Beautiful. 
beautiful. And now we're just gonna do the other side. All right, now for fake lashes. One of my favorite brands is Kiss. And this isn't necessarily the style I always go for. Um, I just happened to find this one and I really like it now. So it might be one of the ones I use more often now. Um, it's in sequin. And look at how cute those are. I love how they fan out and how like dense they are um, compared to like some other ones that I get are like wispies where they don't really show up, but they are really pretty like in person and when you're up close with somebody. Um, but for pictures and they're being like far away, I do like to have bigger lashes like these just so they show up on camera. For the lash glue, um, I swear by this glue and I will use it until they don't make it anymore. Um, it's from Duo, the Strip Lash Adhesive, but it's in the dark tone. So it comes out light gray when you put it on. Um, you let it dry for a little bit, get tacky, put it on, and then once it completely dries, it turns black, um, which is great because it blends in with my eyeliner there. Um, or you can just get it in the clear or the white one. Um, I just so happen to like that it just blends in with my eyeliner and it will kind of turn into eyeliner if you put it on without anything underneath it too. So that's kind of cool if you want to check that out. Um, but let's go ahead and apply these babies. Now, before I put these on, I want to fit them to my eyes or make sure that they do fit my eye shape. Now, I'm just going to take it and I'm just going to line it up against my regular lashes if I find that it's like too much over here and it's getting into the waterline down there I am going to trim off just a little bit on the end um, you never want to do it on the inner corner just because it purposefully tapers down um, when it goes to the inner corner here just so it doesn't you know it's too long and it's getting into your eye um but always do that and then i always try to do this to also bend it because your eye does like bend out <laughs> so um might go ahead and trim these and then apply the lash glue and then stick these puppies on <laughs> all right now that i've let it sit for a little bit it's kind of gotten like a dark gray color I'm gonna go ahead, line it up on my lash here, and then go ahead and do the other eye. All right, and look at the difference. I will always prefer fake eyelashes. Like, just look at that. I mean, these are cute and pretty too for maybe like every day, but like, it's life. <laughs> so let's put on the other one. And you want to get it as close to the base of your lashes as possible. Perfect! And then we're going to let that dry and then very gently press your natural lashes into the fake lashes. Just so it kind of blends. You know, make adjustments as you see. But boom! Now we have gorgeous lashes ready for the pictures. All right, so as of right now, um, this, get that out of the way. This is the completed look for now. Um, Cause like I said, I will be running some errands here in a couple of minutes. Um, so I don't want to go too crazy with the full on look, um, but I'm going to save my eyebrows and my lips for later um, when I put on my wig and my cosplay. And then we'll be heading outside to go take pictures. Uh, so I'm going to go get changed and I'll see you in a minute. <laughs>
home too, you guys. So, change of plans. I'm going to very quickly get ready because they are already here and the sunlight. I want to get out there as soon as possible. So, I am going to throw this wig on and the costume. So, I'll see you in a second. been wanting to get photos as Ariel for a long time and I think these are so great. Also shout out to Miss Cody for making my wig and shout out to Angel Secret for the dress but I will see you guys later. 